Good morning. Today is Monday, February 22nd. My name is Jocelyn Nguyen for Người Việt English TV. More than 1.2 million Walmart employees will get a raise this Saturday. The company will boost its minimum wage to $10 an hour from $9. But it's not just the minimum wage workers who are getting raises. The change applies to virtually all of its hourly employees, including some supervisors, which makes up the majority of its company 1.4 million U.S. workers. The wage hike will boost a full-time worker's average hourly wage by 3% to $13.40, while part-timers get an average hourly wage of $10.50, up to 6% increase. This is the second step of a two-phase increase announced last year. The company also said that it's changing its scheduling procedures to give workers more advance notice of their shifts and will be increasing paid time off. The changes do not come cheap. They will cost the company an additional $1.5 million this year on top of the $1.2 million that they already spent last year on wage. Walmart is in the process of closing close to 270 stores worldwide, 154 of which are located in the U.S. and will cause up to 10,000 jobs lost. Though they say that they can relocate the co-workers to other stores nearby. Should a foreign-born citizen be allowed to serve as U.S. presidents? The U.S. Constitution prohibits anyone except a natural-born citizen from becoming president, though legal experts disagree as to whether or not this means that they need to be born in the U.S. or simply be an American citizen at birth. Though they may be quibble on definition, most Americans don't think that this long-standing rule should be changed to allow naturalized citizens to inhabit the Oval Office. According to a CBS News poll released Sunday, while 21 Americans would be in favor of changing the Constitution to allow people who aren't natural-born U.S. citizens to become president, 75 would oppose the change. 82% of conservatives oppose the change, while 74% of moderate and 64% of liberals oppose it. This poll was conducted by telephone between January 13th and 17th of this year among a random sample of 1,000 adults nationwide. More than 83 million Americans are walking around like zombies because they are not getting enough sleep and are getting less than the recommended seven hours per night. According to new research from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one-third of the country is opening themselves up to greater chances of obesity, high blood pressure, and other metabolic diseases by missing out on sleep. The split between those who do and do not get enough sleep was among economic, educational, and ethnic factors, which researchers said suggests a variety of reasons why people are getting too little shut-eye. People are just not putting sleep on the top of their priority list. Um, they, they know that they should be getting exercise, they should eat right, quit smoking, but sleep is just not on top of their board. And maybe they aren't aware of the impact that sleep can have on their health. It doesn't just make you sleepy, but it also affects your health and safety. The researchers surveyed over 440,000 adults in all 50 states and Washington, D.C., finding over 65% slept at least seven hours per night. The number of people getting the proper amount of sleep varied by state, with over 71% of South Dakota residents catching seven hours on a night and on the high end, and uh, only 56% of Hawaiians getting that amount of sleep on the lower end. Regionally, people in the southeastern U U.S. and those among the Appalachian Mountains are getting the least amount of sleep, and people in the Great Plains U.S. are getting the most. Sleep patterns can be changed with health, education, and behavioral changes, which the Center for Disease Control and Prevention said, um, and will counsel their patients in order to do so for regular health care. My name is Jocelyn Nguyen. Thank you for watching Gavit TV, and we'll see you next time.